Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about something we all love smartphones, and specifically, the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now, we already know one thing for sure it's not going to be cheap. Samsung's Ultra models have always come with top-tier components, cutting-edge features, and all the bells and whistles, and with that comes a hefty price tag. But what can we expect the price to be when the Galaxy S25 Ultra officially launches? Well, in this video, we'll break down all the details and give you an educated guess on what you'll be paying for this flagship device. But first, for all the latest tech news subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash that like button. Now, while we don't have the official price yet we'll have to wait until early next year for that, there's enough info floating around to make a pretty solid guess. So, let's look at the best case scenario first, Samsung might keep the prices steady, just like last year. For reference, the Galaxy S24 Ultra starts at $1,299.9 for the 256GB model and goes all the way up to $1,659.9 for the 1TB version. First, let's talk about inflation. The cost of goods and services has been rising, and while inflation has slowed recently, smartphone manufacturers aren't immune to these price hikes. One of the major contributors to these higher costs is the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite SoC. It's been estimated that this chip could cost anywhere from 25 to 30 percent more than the current Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Keeping the prices the same would definitely make some fans happy, but let's not get too optimistic just yet. Last year, the S24 Ultra saw a $100 price increase over the S23 Ultra, so it's possible Samsung could opt to keep the price steady for two years in a row. But there are a couple of big reasons why the Galaxy S25 Ultra's price could still go up in 2025. And that's not all there's the overall cost of materials too. A report suggested that parts for the S25 Ultra could cost over $110 more, which, if passed on to the consumer, could push the starting price up to $1,499. However, we should take that with a grain of salt. Samsung's scale gives it a lot of bargaining power, so they might be able to absorb some of those costs. Also, a starting price of $1,499 would make the S25 Ultra $210 more expensive than the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is a pretty risky move from a marketing standpoint. So, it's not likely that Samsung would go with such a huge price increase. The reality, I think, is somewhere in between. Considering all of this, I think a starting price of $1,349 for the Galaxy S25 Ultra is probably the most plausible outcome. It's a modest increase from the S24 Ultra, but it still factors in those rising costs. But again, we won't know for sure until Samsung officially unveils the Galaxy S25 lineup likely at the end of next month. Now, if you're thinking about upgrading but aren't sure whether the S25 Ultra is worth the extra cash, here are 7 reasons why the Galaxy S24 Ultra is still a great choice. The S24 Ultra is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and trust me, this chipset is more than capable. It offers excellent performance and efficiency, so even though the S25 Ultra may come with the Snapdragon 8 Elite, the performance difference in everyday tasks won't be that huge. Rumors say the S25 Ultra might have a titanium frame, but the S24 Ultra already has that premium build material, so you're not missing out on anything here. The S24 Ultra has that sharp, edgy design that appeals to a lot of people, and the S25 Ultra's rumored design might not be a huge leap forward. Some may even prefer the current look. The S24 Ultra already has Galaxy AI, and Samsung has a history of extending new software features to older devices. So, it's likely that the new AI features introduced with the S25 Ultra will come to the S24 Ultra as well through updates. The S24 Ultra has an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner and other top-of-the-line hardware that'll still stand out in 2024. The S25 Ultra likely won't offer any groundbreaking advancements in these areas. The S24 Ultra has an impressive camera setup with a 200-megapixel primary sensor, 50-megapixel 5x telephoto, 3x telephoto, and an ultra-wide camera. The S25 Ultra is expected to bring only minor camera upgrades, so the S24 Ultra will still hold its ground. If you're looking for flagship performance and premium build quality without the high price tag of the S25 Ultra, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is still a powerhouse and a great deal. 
Now, let's talk about some cool new details we've gotten about the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Some spare parts have recently been listed, revealing the S25 Ultra's color options. We'll have four main colors, titanium black, titanium blue, titanium gold, and titanium silver. But wait, there are also rumors of online exclusive colors like titanium jade green and titanium pink gold, though nothing's confirmed yet. Once Samsung officially unveils the device, we'll know for sure. Also, the S25 series is making its rounds through certification agencies, with the latest stop being the FCC. Some notable details include that the standard Galaxy S25 will miss out on the U feature, which will only be found on the Ultra and Plus models. Plus, the S25 Plus and S25 Ultra will support 45 watt charging, while the regular S25 sticks with 25 watt. The S25 will also have slower wireless charging at 9 watt compared to the 15 watt we've seen on recent models. And finally, a little sneak peek into the future the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is expected to be at least 20% more powerful than the current Snapdragon 8 Elite. This new chip is rumored to make its way into future Samsung phones, including the Galaxy S26 series. However, as Qualcomm raises prices for the new chip, it could result in even higher smartphone prices in the coming years. So, what do you think? Will you be waiting for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, or are you going to grab the S24 Ultra instead to save some cash? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!